All right guys, good morning. Today I'm going to be taking you into one of my mornings as a cardiology fellow. Today we are starting our day super early at 5.30 a.m. Actually, we've already been up for a bit as my daughter is currently going through her teething phase and I had to rock her back to bed. But the first thing that I do to begin my routine is to catch up my hydration. I usually will start my morning with about 16 ounces of water combined with electrolytes and creatine and sip on that while I work in the office. But today I realized that the office and the desk is pretty messy, so I go ahead and just clean that up real quick. This banana teether, for example, doesn't need to be here. Now during this first part of the morning before work actually starts, I usually will work on personal tasks such as things like writing emails to you guys or working on future scripts and videos. And during these early hours and work sessions, I know that my daughter can wake up at any time slot, especially during her teething phase. And sure enough, there she goes again. So I take a quick break from writing emails and head back to the nursery to getting my Elvis Presley on as I rock and roll her back to bed. And by the time that I'm done with my morning task and putting her back to sleep, it's now 6.30 a.m., which means it's time to get our work workout in for the morning. Today on the docket we have a three mile run outside so I quickly grab my running gear and head out the door. Now running for me not only gets me outside and gets my steps for the day but it's also one of my favorite times to catch up on audiobooks, podcasts, or just jam out to some music. And about 20 to 30 minutes later I am back home and time to freshen and shower up before my daughter officially wakes up for the day and my work day also starts. After a great warm shower and quickly getting ready it is time to get our cup of joe going. Our go-to is this Colombian roast that we get from a local coffee shop for the past few years and after this already early morning, I'm definitely going to enjoy this cup of coffee. And while my coffee's brewing, I do my morning slash meditation session, which I call my puja. For me, this is a spiritually driven time of the day, but also combined with a bunch of gratitude and mindfulness before starting the hectic, chaotic day that is to come. And I usually will try to end my puja session with some reading for about five to 10 minutes. And by now, the smell of that delicious Colombian rose is spreading throughout the house and it's calling my name. So I go ahead and get my cup of coffee ready. And now currently we are in my time slot of luxury. Often by this time, my daughter will already be awake, but since she's been in and out of sleep throughout the night, she's enjoying some more sleep and I'll take advantage by getting some more work done. But I realize that I have more than one kid and if one kid isn't needing attention, the other one being my mini golden doodle, Kobe is, who's already telling me that he's awake, needs to pee, and likely eat. So after letting Kobe out and prepping his breakfast, it is now officially time for work. Now currently as a cardiology fellow, I am on my echo rotation. This means that with an attending, I'm responsible of reading all of the heart ultrasounds for the day. If you're interested in a full breakdown of what my schedule looks like as a cardiology fellow, I'll link that video down below. And in that video, I also break down my second year schedule where I talk about how I want imaging to be a big part of my cardiology career. So being on this rotation is super fun for me. And the other nice thing about Echo for me is that I have the reading software on my work laptop, which I can easily connect to my home office and thus I can read from home. And since today I had already scheduled to have somebody come in for some normal annual maintenance work on the home, it allows me the flexibility to work from home while still being available for other chores and errands. But now it's about 8 a.m. and it's officially time for the first echo to come in. Now my job as the cardiology slash echo fellow is to take specific measurements throughout the heart ultrasound images and put a picture of essentially how the heart is doing and submit a preliminary summary of all my interpretations. I'll go over all my reports with attending who's reading echoes for that day later in the afternoon and if there's any emergent echoes or weird findings I can let them know and they're available throughout the day. Now an echo or a heart ultrasound can tell you a lot about how someone's heart is doing which is one of the reasons I enjoy it so much. You can tell how strong a muscle is, how big the chamber are, how the valves are structurally doing, as well as any improper movement of blood flow being something moving too fast or in the wrong direction, as well as the amount of pressure or volume a heart is dealing with. This heart, for example, is one of my first for the morning. As you can see, it's really large and barely squeezing, consistent with somebody who has severe heart failure. Definitely super interesting and really nice pictures. Most of the echoes, unfortunately, are not as exciting as they're usually ordered as part of protocols like a stroke workup or if somebody is passing out and they come to the hospital. And in many instances, the heart usually isn't the cause for whatever reason they came to the hospital, so often it becomes a quick read. And on the flip side, other echoes are usually just not the easiest to see. Maybe the text didn't do a great job of obtaining the images, or maybe the patient was really obese or intubated or not able to move around, and sometimes you just have difficulty of being able to get between a few ribs and getting a good enough view of the heart, which makes my interpretation a lot harder. But at this point, after going through a few echoes for the morning, my daughter is officially up and wants to play with dad who needs to work. So I managed to go ahead and create a play area of toys in the office so she can self-play while I finish the current echoes and Kobe's also doing a great job keeping her company. Good boy, Kobe. And now that she's self-playing, back to the echoes. Now for a typical day, and again, because I wanna do this as part of my career, I try to read as many echoes as possible, usually averaging between a 10 to 12. There's also another upper level cardiology fellow that is on the rotation with me who's usually will spread the load from the hospital. And after her dad reads a few more echoes, my daughter has now officially decided that the play area is no longer entertaining enough and she needs a playmate. So now it's 
it's time for me to practice my block stacking as well as reminding myself how to solve a Rubik's Cube, which she seems to be really interested in. This also ends up being a good time for both of us to grab some breakfast as well as catching this really sweet dance session. But after we both enjoy our morning toast, back to more echoes. And the nice thing about the echo rotation is that the rate of echoes coming in fairly varies. If there's a lot of echoes to be read, I can read them, but sometimes the text will have a lot of downtime between uploading. And during these downtimes, I'll try to do practice board questions to keep up with my self-learning again because this is a future career option for me. By this point, it's about 10.30 to 11 a.m. and I've read most of the echoes that have been done this morning. And now it's almost time to drive into the hospital to catch the noon fellow lecture as well as read with my attending for the afternoon. But by this point, since I've been up for about five plus hours, plus I've already done my morning run, I am definitely feeling it and the coffee is definitely starting to wear off. So I decided to take a quick power nap on the couch before leaving to work for the day. And after a quick 20 minute power nap, I get my scrubs on and it's time to drive to work to read more echoes and have my attendings look over my morning ones. The afternoon reading sessions will usually go till about 4.30 or 5.30 with my attending, so I'm really glad I was able to enjoy this morning with my daughter as well as get some work done. But that guys is my morning routine as a cardiology fellow on the echo rotation. If you enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to be notified when new videos come out. Let me know in the comment section down below y'all's thoughts on the morning routine as well as what other content about my life as a cardiology fellow and cardiologist you want me to make in the future videos. And regardless of where you're on your medical journey, if you want all the free advice that I wish somebody had given to me on my first day of med school, check out the Med School Success Handbook, which will be linked down below, as well as an entire playbook and the Med School Blueprint of every step and strategy I wish I had taken from day one in med school that has been checked out by hundreds of med students just like you. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out this video right here on my full day in the life as a cardiologist, as well as this video right here on why I picked cardiology as my future career. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.